Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at these two physical specimens, Phil Heath and Nick Walker. That was my Mean Gene Okerlund impression. This is the 2013, of course, version of Phil Heath. And a lot of people would say this is his best version. I don't know, kind of lean towards uh, 2011. But he was bigger. He was bigger here. And Nick Walker, 2022, he is an actual freak of nature. He is a physical specimen also. What a matchup, guys. What a matchup. So let's begin it with the front double bicep. Now, I began with a power shot. Both Nick Walker and Phil Heath, they like to do that. When they first come out, they like to hit a power shot. Now, this picture of uh, Phil Heath, some of you guys do complain that I do use this. It's a little bit darker. It's shaded, but it shows the whole body. Now, there is this one here, and I, you can see I, I kept the, the wheels or the, the calves from the other picture. It's just used for sizing, guys. So, yeah, I do agree that these pictures are clearer, and they do look better for Phil Heath. Look at the arms on Nick Walker. Can you believe that? And uh, I did a comparison between Nick Walker and Ronnie Coleman. And Nick surprisingly was holding his own in that uh, arm department. And yeah, he's ditto with Phil Heath. And Phil Heath, keep in mind, some of the best forearms, you know, the total complete arm. Total complete arm. And so does Nick Walker. Nick is friggin' huge, guys. There's a better balance. There's a better balance for uh, Phil Heath, I would suggest, upper and lower body. Now, food for thought, Nick, boom, he hit this one here. Look at how big his upper body is. His lats, they're huge. There's there, there's aspects about this guy that could defeat, defeat Phil Heath. In this shot, that is lower half. I'm going to go with Phil because of the balance. There's a better balance. And it's not any fault of Nick's. It's just the way Phil is built. He's, he's bigger. Uh, he has longer legs. They're filled out more. I wouldn't say they're filled out more, but you know what I'm saying. Front lat spread. And we'll just zip through this one, guys, because it's a photo or a, uh, a screenshot, rather, for Nick Walker. Not the best shot for either guy, but I would think uh, Phil Heath would get the front lat spread between these two using these two versions. Now turn to the side. Now we can have some real fun. We can have some real uh, fun in the comments section below. You guys picking apart my sizing of these guys. Yes, Phil is probably a little taller. He is t a little bit taller. But in this shot here, he sits down. So Nick ends up being taller. It's bending at the knees, guys. Look at how thick the wheels are of Phil Heath. I mean, upper body wise, I would give it to him. Arms. He is a beast from the side. And the side tricep is no different. Silhouette here. I like Nick Walker better. Midsection. Big man's chest. Arm. Phil kind of crouching in inward a little bit as far as the chest is concerned. But arm for arm. Basically the same size. Basically the same shape. But more striations. More cuts. Thicker forearm too. For Phil Heath. Phil known for those forearms guys. You know what else he was known for? Take a look at the back. The back development. And Nick, kudos to him, holding his own in the size department. Now, no, no, he doesn't have the 3D look. Very few bodybuilders do. People throw that name out 3D very loosely. Phil Heath, one of the few guys to have that three-dimensional thickness in the traps, in his lats, and... Even in the triceps from behind here, you can see a big, full, round, bubbly, striated triceps. Unbelievable. Lower half, even even in the upper half, Nick Walker is, is holding his own. No way, shape, or form can he defeat that three-dimensional, bubbly, round muscle of the back. But yeah, to say you're holding your own. And this, keep in mind, this is the worst of the two back shots for Nick. So if he's doing okay in this shot... He's going to maybe even defeat Phil Heath in this one. I'm not speaking loose, guys. And I know there's some Phil Heath fans out there that would say he's defeating anybody in these back shots. But for those of you who are actually giving this a fair look. And hey, maybe I did size it wrong. Maybe I did make Nick Walker too big. But I don't think so. And even if I did make him smaller, take a look at the back and in the arms. 
Just excuse the lower half for just a minute. We'll get we'll get to that. The back itself. Nick Walker, lat insertions, arms included. Maybe even defeating the greatest of all time in the back. So yes, that is a testament to Nick Walker's back. Now the lower half, there is a much better balance for Phil Heath. I would say that he is in better condition. Nick, he's hard, he's grainy, for sure. For sure, guys, no no doodle boodle. But Phil is perfectly strided, perfectly conditioned. This guy's going to be hard to beat, for sure. Absinthe, hey, who's fooling around here? This is not from the Olympia for Nick Walker. Not fair, you might just as well use another bodybuilder altogether. This is the Arnold Classic, where he won. And he does have a good abs and thigh, guys, so... I don't know, I wouldn't say Phil, Phil Heath would, uh, would destroy him in this pose. And we're gonna finish it off with a most muscular, or two. And Phil Heath, structurally speaking, he has an advantage. For sure he does, guys. Little bit taller, he has the longer wheels to match the upper body, the massive upper body... Nick's, I don't want to call him small-legged, he's short-legged, I guess you could say, and a little bit wide-waisted, considering Phil from the front actually had uh, a pretty narrow waist. It was the bubble gut from the side that got him. <laughs> and here is the crab position, which shows the dominance of one Phil Heath. Clavicle width, huh, that's strange. He's bending down. He's bending down a whole lot more than Nick, I guess. And showing that uh, the clavicle width a little bit more. Because in most of the shots, Nick looked wider from the, the top. And Phil had the advantage in the wheels. As far as size, proportions, things of that nature. And yeah, I would give Phil an edge. He is more aesthetically pleasing. He's more complete, I guess, as far as that's concerned. But kudos to Nick. This mutate. He could easily win an Olympia title or two. So, yeah, the sky is the limit, guys, for Nick Walker. Very impressive bodybuilder. But as was Phil Heath, and in his prime, I don't see anybody defeating him. I see some people maybe matching him, including uh, Coleman. Coleman, maybe. Could be a couple other names out there. Mm. Bill Grant was good. Hit thumbs up, guys. And subscribe to the ch He was. He was. Revolutionary. Love it. Revolutionary. Christmas trees, baby, please. Subscribe, guys. Love you guys. Have a nice one.